going on everybody? Canadian Meathead here and we're doing it. I threw this idea out to you guys a little while ago about uh, roasting your forerunners and uh, carving you guys up a little bit. The response was overwhelming. You guys I guess are suckers for punishment because uh, we got too many submissions to be able to fit into one video. So I'm gonna hit as many as I can in this video. Um, there's probably gonna be a part two, maybe even a part three. Maybe we end up doing this every month, I don't know. And hopefully it goes without saying, but if you signed up for this, hopefully you have pretty thick skin. With that said, not trying to hurt anybody's feelings here. We're all friends, try to take it lightly. Also keep in mind, my forerunner right here has got fake bead locks and LED light bars and freaking Raptor lights. So I'm just as stupid as you are. Let's get into it. Okay, so starting off in no particular order, or alphabetical, I guess, <laughs> whatever. We have at stock to rock. I guess that's his Instagram handle. I don't know. Give him a follow. Maybe he's cool. What do we got here? So we got a black fourth gen V8 with a high clearance front bumper. That's for sure. I don't know if that's custom. Is that? Did you buy that? Is is it custom built? It's got a gnarly skid plate on it. Uh, we got black housing headlights, which I'm still on the fence whether I want to do that with mine or not. I find like as soon as the lenses get a little bit cloudy, they look really cheesy when they're painted. But when they're perfectly clear like yours, they look really good, especially on a black forerunner. Uh, can't quite see what he's got for suspension in here. I don't know. Can't quite tell. Can't see a whole lot from this picture. Looks like some the KO2s maybe. General grabbers. I'm not sure which tires those are. Uh, it's a sport model because we got a hood scoop up here, so that's cool. Oh, see, I liked it. I really did, and I do. It's a really clean looking forerunner, but we've got tinted taillights, and man, that's a pet peeve of mine. Why did you have to tint the taillight? Okay, it looks like these are LEDs, right? These are aftermarket ones, and so that's cool. At least they're probably still bright. You know, at, at night you can see when you're slowing down because that's kind of an important thing when you're driving, you know? Uh, okay, so let's let's ignore the taillights. What else we got? We got super clean paint. It looks like it's been polished somewhat nicely or he just got, has a really nice polarizing filter on his camera. Um, looks like it's debadged, I think, which is cool. It's a very clean look. Overall, just very clean, very simple. We got the, uh, what do you call these? Like the D window wheels or something like that, kind of like, Craigers or whatever, American wheels. But, oh man, come on, man. We got TRD stickers in the American kind of like knockoff wheels. Not my thing. But I will say the rest of this 4Runner is looking pretty cool. Um, I like it. I'd like to know more about it. I only got these two pictures. It's a V8, looks clean, looks classy. It's seven out of 10. Moving on. Okay, up next we've got Amir. Let's see what he's got. This looks like a very functional build. This looks like uh, a mirror is more of a function over form type. There's nothing really here that's intended to look pretty. I think this is meant to be used. It's meant to be abused off-road. You got the winch, you got the, uh, was that a DeMello bumper? I'm not even sure. I'm not up on my high clearance you know, metal front bumpers. I kind of want one, kind of don't want one. I don't know, I go back and forth. This is another sport edition. I thought these were kind of rare. Maybe they are in Canada, but uh, maybe you guys in the States have more of them. I don't know, but back-to-back -back sport editions. We got some rock sliders. We have some factory Toyota wheels. Again, we got the bumper, we got the winch. This thing looks like it means business. Cool, looks very usable. Um, he's not building this thing to be a mall crawler to try and impress people. This is, you could tell this is for himself. This picture, Sick looking sky, bro. I can't see your forerunner though, so uh, we'll move right on past that. Okay, what do we do? You're a little bit artistic here. <laughs> That's cool. At least the forerunner's in focus, but uh, I guess I'll, I'll do the rest like this. You can I'll do the rest of the segment like this. Um, looks cool at nighttime too. I like it. I, I think this is a very functional build. I mean, I know, I know those bumpers aren't cheap. Um, I don't know what your suspension setup is. It's a facelifted model and it's got the round wheel arches, which is cool. Can't really tell a whole lot more about it from the pictures. Again, we've got more stuff in the way. We've got bushes in front. Do you want me to talk about your bush? I don't know. Six and a half out of 10. Up next, we got Al. And Al sent in one single photo. So how much time I spend on your vehicle kind of stems from how much you give me to work with, right? So. We got one picture here, let's see what we can do. And okay, right off the bat, you have what appears to be 
Volk Racing TE37s, the, like the truck version, on your 4Runner. You got me, man. I love it. Uh, these are... You spent all your money on wheels on this thing. <laughs> and they're awesome. They're mag blue. I think that's the color for the street version of these wheels. I don't know if they have the same color in the, in the truck wheels. They look awesome. They look like they fit great. Uh, kudos to you for spending the money on Volk wheels on a, essentially, what, like a 15-year-old truck? That's awesome. Another Sport Edition. What, what is going on with all these Sport Editions? We got the roof rack, we got the hood scoop. Yeah, this is a Sport Edition, all right. The pinstripe, though. Come on, man. I don't know if that's a factory pinstripe, if some of these American models maybe came with pinstripes, or did somebody put this on here? Like, nothing says that you have an awesome retirement plan and a lot of spare time, like a pinstripe on your vehicle. Um, I would get rid of that. I would buff that off. You know, it should come off quick and easy. Aside from that, we have a TRD faux grill up front here, which I dig it. I like that a lot. I don't know why. By the way, you should be buying yours from Trail Runner Customs. Andrew's an awesome guy. He stocks them all himself. He's not, you're not just buying them from some faceless person in China. Hood scoop is awesome. I wish mine had a hood scoop and I'm too lazy and too stupid and too cheap to buy a whole new hood and have it painted just for a fake hood scoop on a 4Runner. But I want one and you get points for having a hood scoop. All these sport editions, you guys all get points for that. That's awesome. Also, it looks like you live in a state where you don't need a front license plate. So I hate you a little bit. So maybe those two are gonna balance each other out a little. Overall, it looks like a fairly stock truck. I think maybe it's got some suspension work done to it. it. Looks like it's factory side steps and stuff. The main story here is those wheels. And those wheels, extra points, chef's kiss, eight and a half out of 10 because Volk wheels are awesome. Next up, we've got Antonio Claudio Michael, the man with 17 first names. <laughs> All kidding aside, dude, I am gonna roast you here, but I see you posting comments on all of my videos and I see you watching them all. You're super supportive. So thank you for being so loyal and sticking around for the whole show. Uh, you rock, Antonio. So it looks like Antonio lives on the set of the Breaking Bad TV show. <laughs> what is this, New Mexico, Arizona? I don't know. Looks warm though, so that's cool. We got a third gen and it looks pretty cool. It's maybe a little bit rougher on the edges. We got no bumper at all on the front. Uh, some pretty beefy tires. I don't know what size those are, but those are... What does this thing get? Like 9 miles per gallon with that V6 and those tires and the roof rack and the light bar? Holy crap. I guess you gotta keep your foot to the floor on a windy day on this one. Are those factory fender flares? Because those things look huge. I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about these third gens, but... Uh, okay, check this out. I don't know... I know he has a collection of forerunners. He's got a few of these, right? So I don't know which one is his here. I think, I think the red one on the right, I think this one is his. I don't know if these other two are. If this white one is yours, dude, that is beautiful. I, there's something about a white fourth gen. I always love them. I don't know what it is. I just, I think they look so good in white. Um, and from what I can see of this one, it looks awesome. He's got the rooftop tent up there. Again, he's got the TRD faux grill. He's got some aftermarket headlights. Looks awesome. Um, check this out though. These dudes parked on the side of a dirt road and their forerunners are so cool that people literally pulled up lawn chairs to come and stare at them. I can't say I've ever seen that before. That's ridiculous, but uh, kudos to you for drawing a crowd. I guess this is the same setting here. It's a little bit zoomed in. Let's take a look at the other forerunner that he's got here. Um, third gen looks stock with a bug deflector. Cool, I guess. Fourth gen here, we got like some kind of a cow catcher grill. I don't like those things, man. Those things are made out of like pop can metal. I've seen those things cause more damage than they save you from if you get into an accident. They just, they take out your whole front end if you hit those things. I would get rid of that. You lose points for the, the cow catcher. We got a sport hood here again. I don't know if this is a sport model. It looks like it probably is. I guess everybody has a sport edition but me. I, I don't know. Uh, looks like his lineup here of forerunners in front of his house. Um, it's more of a third gen guy than a fourth gen, it looks like. Uh, again, this front one here looks like it's pretty much stock, nothing to see here. Um, this fourth gen looks cool. I can't tell if he's got a lift on it, he's got a different suspension, or if it's just sitting on the jack stands and the suspension is at full droop. Uh, I can't really tell much from that. 
The third gen's behind. Again, we got the guy with the big boy tires back here. Are those SCS wheels on? I don't know. I'd like to see more of that third gen at the back. I think there might be some cool stuff going on with that. We got another cow catcher on the front of this third gen. I don't know, man. Not a fan of the cow catchers. Bonus points for the excursion in the background. Those things are tanks. My father-in-law has one and it's very cool. You got too many forerunners for me to give you a number for, so uh, I don't know. You, you got three forerunners out of 10, whatever. Up next, we got Billy and Billy sent us an entire photo shoot of his forerunner. So I guess we're gonna spend some time on Billy's rig here. What do we got? Another black fourth gen, first of all, looks awesome. Again, black housing headlights. Do I need to put black housing headlights on mine? I'm starting to think I need to just pull the trigger, quit being a Nancy and just get it over with. I got some questions here. We got a high clearance front bumper, which is of course very cool. Uh, I like the bar here. I think it looks cool when you mount like some round off-road lights on this, like some ARB lights or whatever you like, I don't know. That's cool. I like the high clearance front bumper, but if clearance is the name of the game, what are we doing with the factory running boards on it? We got steps that hang three feet down on the side of the truck. I don't get it. Like, do you want clearance or do you not want clearance? Mind you, maybe I'm spoiled at being six foot three. I took mine off and I probably don't do anywhere near as much off-roading as other people do, but um, I guess if you need your mom to be able to climb up in the side of your forerunner, you gotta keep your steps on. What else we got? Okay, so he's wheeling it. So this dude, you've got, yeah, you've got your factory steps still on it and you're rock crawling. I gotta give you respect for that. You get points for that because you just don't care. Like, you're just like, you know what, screw it. If I smash a step, whatever, I don't care. I can appreciate that. Uh, what's going on here? Dude, why does your factory exhaust resonator look so perfect? Did you actually buy like a brand new OEM exhaust for this thing? Cause if so, you're a lunatic. That's crazy. I don't know what that would have cost you. Or even more crazy, like, did your factory exhaust age that well? Where do you live, on Mars? Holy crap. We got the roof basket. I'm not a fan of roof baskets, man. I, maybe ever since getting the Sherpa rack, I'm turned into a roof rack snob. I don't know, but they just, I don't like them. They just, I can't imagine what that does to your fuel economy and wind noise and stuff. Um, but I mean, they're functional, so I'll give you that. Again, we got the cage up top. Uh, it's probably acting like a parachute. I don't know what that's like on the highway. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, in case you guys didn't notice, he's American and he wants you to know it. Cool. Um, again, side steps. Somehow they're surviving all of your off-roading trips and either you have an amazing spotter or you're an incredible driver or maybe these factory steps are just made out of incredible material. Looks like you, unlike myself, have done your lift properly, your suspension setup. You got some beefy looking upper control arms here. Uh, you did it right. I am still running factory ones on mine, so uh, you win. You got some TRD Pro wheels. I'm a big fan of TRD Pro wheels on these fourth gens. I think they, they look really good. Uh, it's got like that OEM look, but they do also look a little bit custom too, because you can't obviously buy a fourth gen with wheels that look anywhere remotely close to that. So I think it's a great way of, of modernizing the looks of a fourth gen. Again, we got black housing headlights here. Is this a, this looks like a Nylite black housing light bar. This looks like the same one that I've got. And if so, then uh, that's cool, man. Do you like it? Because I like mine. You want to start a club or something? I don't know. What else we got? Okay, so we, he's an electrician. And, uh, oh, okay, I see what's going on here. Okay, so he upgraded his rear subwoofer here. And uh, that's cool. I've seen, that's a pretty common mod, I think, for these fourth gens. Um, there's some that just plug right in. Seems like a good idea. I haven't done mine. I think uh, the, the sound quality is okay for me, but uh, yeah, well, it looks like he's doing a bunch of audio work. He's got the head unit out. Probably sounds pretty good, I'm assuming. He's out hanging out with a, a Barbie Jeep here. Hey man, we're not all proud of our friends. Back to the rock crawling. We've got some uh, red tow hooks. Uh, I think we've pretty much seen what we need to see here. He goes off-roading more than me. Uh, he's cooler than me. And he still has his side steps on despite being able to climb over all of these things. Okay, so he's got, oh, all right. Bonus points for the drawer system. That is awesome. I, I love what you did here. You got a ton of storage space without like just making your whole rear end look like a cop car. 
Dude, what is going on with these tail lights, man? These are clear housing, like chrome. Uh, I don't know. Minus a thousand points for the tail lights, but uh, eight out of 10. It is a nice truck. Let's take a little break here and talk about these set power coolers. Since some of you guys are really liking these, you guys are buying these things. Set power is having a like an Amazon Prime Day sale coming up on July 10th to July 13th. And normally my discount code for these is 12% discount, but that's going up to 20%. And on some models, I think there's like three models, it's gonna be 25% discount. So if you're interested in buying one of these things, you got a chance to get a pretty good deal on them. They're also gonna be picking one out of the first 10 customers every day, and they're gonna be giving you your fridge for free. On top of that, um, if you spend $400 or more, they're gonna give you a 14 liter soft cooler that is apparently valued at $79.99. So lots of reasons to go and check out that sale. If you're interested in these 12 volt refrigerators, I think they're really hard to beat, man. These are really high quality for a really reasonable price. All right, up next we've got Carzilla, and I'm willing to bet that's not actually his first name. Carzilla here, uh, okay, so he looks like he's got a pretty sick setup here. Um, I guess he's he's towing his new set of tires home. I think you're gonna need some trimming on those ones, buddy boy. What do we got? We got another high clearance bumper, looks pretty awesome. That's the kind of look I was talking about earlier with the round lights in there. I like it, it's kind of old school, functional, very cool. Bumper's awesome, ew mud, I hear ya. Anytime I get mud on mine, I hate cleaning it off and trying to get it off the undercarriage. Not sure if you're being sarcastic or not, but uh, if you are, screw you. I don't know what size tires they are, but they look big. I'm gonna say these are probably 35s maybe, I don't know what you're running, but uh, can't really see much else other than that. What other pictures have we got? Uh, looks like, first of all, thanks for flipping your picture. I'll just finish the rest like this. I guess he's like driving through the world's largest upper control arm. I don't know what that is. Um, Rear end looks pretty much stock. He's got some stickers on it, representing his favorite brands, I guess. Uh, I don't know, looks pretty cool. I give it an eight and a half out of 10. <clears throat> All right, next up we got Colton. And Colton is a fellow mountain biker, obviously. And <laughs> dude, how do you get your bike in the back through the back window like that? I can't imagine. You can be smashing your pedals off things. You gotta like crank it sideways in order to, that's impressive, I guess, but uh, just get a bike rack, man. Like you can get some pretty cheap ones. The thing is like, you're gonna be scratching your hatch and your rear bumper. It looks like maybe you don't mind. You already got some scuffs in your rear bumper here, but uh, I feel like there's better ways to transport a mountain bike than hanging out like that. But honestly, kudos to you. I didn't know that that was even possible to fit a bike like that. Um, I got a feeling though, you're gonna spend more time wrestling your bike trying to get it out at the trailhead and your buddies are already gonna be halfway through their bike ride. Oh boy, okay, so somehow we're both in the desert and underwater because this picture is so blurry. I can hardly make out what I'm looking at here. Scenery looks awesome. Got a rooftop tent, cool. I don't know what brand that is. Uh, looks good, I think. Uh, no, it's a good looking camping setup, I like it. Uh, I don't know, can't really see much else from that. We got some nice scenery here. This guy lives near the mountains. I don't know where you live, dude. Where is this, Idaho, Utah or something? Where do they have desert and mountains like this? Or do you just travel a lot? I don't know. Yeah, looks cool. We got some beefy tires, some decent looking wheels on here. Um, you gotta polish up your headlights, dude. I got a video on here on my channel just showing you how to do it. It's quick and easy. It'll make a night and day difference with the appearance of your truck, if you care about that sort of thing. Um, I'm kind of surprised at how tall that rooftop tent is up there. That, that thing must uh, really be noticeable when you're driving on the highway. I guess he's got it mounted to, is it just on the factory roof rails? Maybe that's why it's sitting up so high. I don't know. Um, also, it looks like uh, we got some 50 shades of gray action here. The bumper is a little different than the, the rest of the truck. What else? Yeah, so. It, and those are some beefy looking tires. Like look at the look at the tread design on those. Are those those things wop 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 down the highway, huh? I don't know how loud those must be, but I would think that might get a little bit annoying. Um, not sure what else is going on with this thing. Looks cool. Uh, looks like it's built for adventure. So uh, six and a half out of ten. Next up we got Dalin, 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 Dylan, Dalin. He's got okay. 
<laughs> okay. This is cool, dude. This is, I don't, I don't know if it's vinyl wrapped or if this is a paint job. It looks like it's like cavalry blue from the fifth gen Forerunners. That's very cool. First of all, if this is your trailer in the background, you have way too much money, sir. And uh, I hate you a little bit, but uh, back to this paint color, dude, this is, that looks very cool on a fourth gen. I, I dig it. I think that looks awesome. And it's a V8 model too. So essentially what you have here is like, it's basically like a fifth gen Forerunner, but for men. <laughs> That's gonna trigger some people. Yeah, okay, so right off the bat, first picture, I'm impressed. I think this is very cool. Uh, oh. Dude, tinted taillights? Like, you were doing so good. This thing was awesome. Why did you black out your taillights, man? Uh, I just, I don't understand why people want to get rear-ended by other drivers at nighttime. Like, are you trying to get yourself an insurance scam or something? Are you trying to write this thing off so you can get a new one? I don't know, like, okay. Let's let's forget about the taillights for now. Let's Let's look at the rest of it. This thing is very cool. I think, I like the stance. The wheels are, eh, not bad, not amazing, not bad. Color looks so cool on a fourth gen though, man. I like it. I think it's very cool. I'm not a big fan of like the yellow tint on the fog light lenses. Uh, that's a lot, we got a lot of color on this thing now. We got the bright blue and then the contrasting bright yellow. Um, not sure I would do that, but he's painted the factory or wrapped the factory grill black. Um, very cool. I like the, whether it's a wrap or a paint job, I dig the color, that's a very unique idea. Would have been a lot of work to do. Uh, you lose a lot of points for the tinted taillights, so I wanna give you like a five out of 10 for those taillights because I'm so angry about that. But I mean, cavalry blue, I don't even know if that's cavalry. Why can't I say cavalry blue? Anyways, that color on a fourth gen, eight out of 10. The Smurfs would be proud. All right, we're on to David. David's got a forerunner. What do we got here? All right, first of all, is that Manitoba plates? Are you from Manitoba? Okay, yeah, fellow Canadian, automatically, 10 out of 10. No, just all, all kidding aside, it looks good. We've got like an early model, black fourth gen. I think it's limited. I, don't, I can't really see my screen very well in this lighting. Um, the wheels, what are those? Those are 1552, I think. And I'm kind of torn, I don't, the design of them, I'm not sure if it's my style. I think they're they're bold and they're very unique. And unlike wheels, like say like my methods on my Forerunner, those have been knocked off by so many other companies that you know you see them on a vehicle out in the wild. You have no idea what their methods or whatever Chinese brand. These stand out. Like these are a, a unique design. I'm just not sure if I'm into like the spoke design of them. I don't know. I don't have a problem with them being like fake beadlocks or whatever, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We got another roof basket up here. I think the more I'm seeing pictures of these, the more I'm just not into the roof baskets. Like I, but I get it, okay? Like these aftermarket roof racks for these forerunners are so expensive. That is a lot of money to drop on something that just sticks to the roof of your truck. But uh, these I could see are probably like pretty functional in terms of like luggage space for hauling extra stuff. If you use it that way, if you're just doing it for looks, I think, I don't know, you just kind of look like you just came from the jungle and uh, I don't know. This guy's out here snow wheeling, he's got the snow packed and the wheels. I know as a fellow Canadian, I know what that means, sir. And you were doing some hooning and some deep snow a little bit before you took this picture. We got some chips in the paint on the front bumper here. No big deal, it's probably because he uses this thing for actual wheeling and stuff, I would imagine. Um, yeah, I like it. It's a very clean, very simple setup. The early model ones, uh, I feel like they're not quite as nice looking as the facelifted fourth gens, but I dig it. And I will give you points for the bronze color on the wheels. On a black vehicle, I think that's a really good look. Bronze wheels on black, that's, you're definitely scoring points for that. You're scoring points, you're a fellow Canadian. You're scoring points because you're out here wheeling in the snow. I dig it. I'm gonna give you a seven and a half out of 10. Okay, last but not least, we have Dennis. What does Dennis have here? Okay, so Dennis has some text. <laughs> he sent me his build sheet here. And okay, it looks like he's, he spent some money on this thing and he wants you to know about it because he has itemized everything he's done. So let's take a look. Yeah, okay. 
That's sick, man. That I, This thing is awesome. Okay, first of all, white fourth gen. You already know how I feel about that. That's, that's a great look. Um, we've got the aftermarket front and rear bumpers. Uh, we got a spare tire carrier. We got the, the awning up on the roof rack. Man, this, this looks like you have spent some money on your 4Runner. This is, uh, it looks like a very complete build, at least from that picture. What are these, black Rhino wheels? I don't know, man. The, you got these wheels off of a Soviet tank, I guess? Is that the style nowadays with the kids? I don't know. Also, am I old now? I don't know. These are definitely love it or hate it. I think uh, if you're looking for that kind of like military look, they're very cool. I feel like they would maybe get annoying after a while. I don't know, but they're all black, so they're not as noticeable. It's kind of like a factory steely, but on crack cocaine. I don't know, maybe, do I like them? Maybe I do like them, I don't know. No, you're losing a point for the wheels. I don't like them. Tires are cool. I don't like the wheels. This is his light bar, so he's definitely not getting stuck in the mud anytime soon because he does have light bar lockers. Uh, is this uh, an extreme LED, like the super slim one that they've got? Because I want one for mine and they won't respond to me, so I'm a little bit jealous of you. That's a nice light. I, I really like the amber sides that you can run these separately from the white ones in the center. So like the I guess it's the, the spot beam is clear and then the flood beam is amber, which makes a lot of sense. Amber light up top, especially in bad weather, I think is very smart. It's got some storage cases up here. Looks good. Uh, what are those? Are those JBA upper control arms? Bright red, they probably are. Actually, let me just ask his build sheet. Uh, yeah, JBA upper control arms and Toy Tech left, okay. Yeah, he's, he's got some good quality parts on this thing. Coast off-road bumpers. I think that's a Canadian company, so that's cool. Uh, we got ARB skid plate. Can't really see much else in that picture, but uh, those things are probably pretty expensive. Anything ARB is expensive. Oh, we got another, just crank my neck to try and see. Okay, we got a dual swing out rear bumper, which is very cool. That's very useful. Got some stickers in the hatch. He's a, you got a fish on there. Are you a fisherman? Do you want everybody to know that you're a fisherman? Do you like murdering fish? I'm just kidding, I don't care. You kill all the fish you want. Uh, I like it. Oh, okay, see? Sherpa roof rack. Shut up! Freaking dogs. We got a Sherpa roof rack, so uh, on that note, now a message from our sponsors. Uh, I like it. I think, uh, this is a very like thorough build. It's very well-rounded. Um, looks like it's usable. It looks like he does use it. He's got pictures of it off-road. What else is on his build sheet here? It's some LEDs, Pioneer head unit. Uh, yeah. I think we've pretty much seen it all, but uh, I love it. I think this is awesome. I'm gonna give you a nine out of 10 because it's white. It's got high quality parts on it. You're basically just losing points for the wheels and uh, that's subjective. Well, I think I'm gonna cut it there. That's uh, the first 10 entries. We've got a lot more. So if you submitted your 4Runner and I didn't get to it in this video, I'm gonna get it in a future one. That's I'm not gonna skip over any of them. If you send it in, it will be featured. So don't worry about that. Make sure you stick around for the future videos and eventually I will get to them all. Thank you guys for submitting them. I didn't expect there was gonna be this much response, but this is kind of fun, man. I, I like doing this kind of stuff. So it's a good way for us to interact with each other. Um, if you want this to continue being a thing, keep sending your forerunners in. I made a specific email address for this, roast at canadiangearhead.com. Anytime, send your forerunner in and I'll include it in whatever the next video is that I end up shooting. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you don't have uh, too many butt hurt feelings. Thanks for participating if you did. Thanks for watching if that's all you did. And I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya.